Hello ladies and gentlemen, dear YouTube. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm doing great. I'm here with Silence of the Lambs, which was a winner of the poll that I did on my Patreon. And I'm doing weekly polls, so if you want to join guys and if you want to see full length reactions, you can find the link in the description, also in the comments down below. And now, let's enjoy the ride. Let's go. Looks like Jodie Foster. Yeah. Oh, that's some intense workout, like in the army, you know. Darling, Crawford wants to see you in his office. Thank you, sir. FBI. Okay. <laughs> You looking for Crawford? Yes, sir. Uh, I think they were over in the Flushing. Oh, my God, man, who does that? And they're all ladies. Sorry to pull you off the course at such short notice. Uh, jobs come up and I thought about you. Sit down. I remember you from my seminar at UVA. Mm -hmm. Gave you an A. A minus, sir. When you graduate, you want to come to work for me in behavioral science? Yes, very much, sir. We're interviewing all the serial killers now in custody. Could be a real help in unsolved cases. You spook easily, Starling? Not yet, sir. I want you to go after him again today in the asylum. Mm. Who's the subject? The psychiatrist, Hannibal Lecter. Hannibal the cannibal. So if he won't cooperate, I want just straight reporting. Dossier and Lecter. So they want to understand their psychology and to help them solve cases. Lecter's been in prison for so many years now. Is there some connection between him and Buffalo Bill, maybe? Be very careful with Hannibal Lecter. Do not deviate from them for any reason whatsoever. And you're to tell him nothing personal, Starling. Just do your job, but never forget what he is. Oh, he's a monster. So rare to capture one alive. Lecter is our most prized asset. You know, we get a lot of detectives here, but I must say I can't ever remember one as attractive. <laughs> this can be quite a fun town if you have the right guide. Well, I'm sure this is a great town, Dr. Chilton. What a pervert, man. Crawford's very clever, isn't he, using you? Pretty young woman to turn him on. I graduated from UVA, doctor. It is not a charm school. Do not touch the glass. Do not approach the glass. No staples or paper clips in his paper. If he attempts to pass you anything, do not accept it. Yes, I understand, sir. Why we insist on such precautions. He complained of chest pain. When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to her. The doctors managed to reset her jaw. His pulse never got above 85, even when he ate her tongue. That's a real monster right there. When she's finished, bring her out. My God, man, these guys are prepared for war. He told you, don't get near the glass. Yes, he did, Clarice Starling. You can hang your coat up there if you like. He's past the others. I put out a chair for you. Oh, yes, that's very good, thank you. I'll be watching. You'll do fine. Hi. It's my God. Tensions building up. I feel it, man. Look at this guy. Dr. Lecter, my name is Clarice Starling. You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? I am, yes. May I see your credentials? Closer, please. Closer. <laughs> that expires in one week. I'm still in training at the academy. Jack Crawford sent a trainee. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. That is rather slippery of you, Agent Starling. What did Miggs say to you? Multiple Miggs in the next cell. I can smell your cunt. You use Evian skin cream, and sometimes you wear all that at all. But not today. Man, his eyes, his eyes and facial expressions are terrifying. Do you know Florence? All that detail just from memory, sir? Is what I have instead of a view. Lend us your view on this questionnaire, sir. You were doing fine. Ham-handed segue into your questionnaire. 
It won't do. Do you know why he's called Buffalo Bill? This one likes to skin his humps. Why do you think he removes their skins? Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No, oh, you ate yours. He ate theirs? Oh my goodness, man. You look like a rube with a little taste. How are you, Agent Starling? What is your father do? Is he a coal miner? Does he stink of the land? You see a lot, Doctor. But are you strong enough to point that? Why don't you look at yourself and write down what you see? A census taker once tried to test me. I ate his liver. <laughs> could, could he not do that? Fly, fly, fly. fly, fly. Uh, uh, my wrist! Look at the blood! Uh, 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 hey, Dan Stanley! Hey, Dan Stanley! Do this test for me. Go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine. Ammo FET. Go now! Dude, what the hell? This is gonna be a psychological challenge. And she thought it was gonna be easy. Well, guess what? Hi, Bill. Hey. Daddy! All right. Hands behind your back. You're dead, Starling. Starling, where's your danger area? Did you check the corner? That's the reason you're dead. Breaking doors or windows. Uh, rule 404. Crawford? Thanks, Ardelia. Starling? Miggs is dead. How? How? Lecter whispering to him all afternoon and Miggs crying. He'd swallowed his own tongue. Starling? I'm still here, so I just... I don't know how to feel about this. Lecter did it to amuse himself. He mentioned a name at the end, uh, Moffat. There's no record of anyone named Moffat. Your self-reference was, uh, I figured he's from Baltimore. Your self-storage facility right outside of downtown Baltimore, sir. Unit 35 was leased for 10 years. The contract, Miss Hester Moffat. Privacy is a great concern to my customers. I'll be out of here before you know it. <laughs> Oh. Stuck. You just stay here. I'll be back in one minute. Stuck. If this door should fall down, or this is the number for our Baltimore field office. Now they know that you're with me. You call them if anything should happen. Oh. Was that the door? Hester Moffat. It's an anagram, isn't it, Doctor? Meaning that you rented that garage? Hmm. <laughs> Your bleeding is that. How? What? What? Dr. Lecter, whose head is in that bottle? Why don't we talk about Miss Moffat? Benjamin Raspell, a former patient of mine. I did not kill him, I assure you, after he'd missed three appointments. If you didn't kill him, then who did, sir? His therapy was going nowhere. Raspell was a transvestite? No, no, just think of him as a kind of experiment. How did you feel when you saw him, Clarice? Accelerated. Jack Crawford is helping your career, isn't he? Apparently, he likes you, and you like him, too. It's the sort of thing that Miggs would say. Not anymore. What happened to your drawings? Punishment, you see. Dr. Chilton does enjoy his petty torments. I've been in this room for eight years now, Clarice. I want a window where I can see a tree. Are you saying that he's killed again? Based on the case evidence. I'll help you catch him, Clarice. Tell me who decapitated your patient, Doctor. All good things to those who wait. Wow, so he obviously knows that's the killings.
but he won't cooperate until he gets something in return. Oh man, poor girl. Something's going to happen to her. Can I help you with that? Would you? I got it this far, I just can't get it up in the truck. Yeah, you can set it there. That's good. I want to push it all the way up. Don't do that. So, are you about a size 14? <laughs> oh, man. Good. Oh, good. The fact that these type of people actually walk this planet is... It's just frightening. Keeps them alive for three days. We don't know why. Skins them, dumps them. The water leaves us no trace evidence of any kind. Poor girl, man. Circles where the girls were abducted. This new one today washed up Elk River, West Virginia. Look at him, Starling. Tell me what you see. Serial killers tend to hunt within their own ethnic groups. A house somewhere, not an apartment. What he does with them takes privacy. He'll never stop. He's got a real taste for it now, and he's getting better at his work. Her father, perhaps. How did he die? I'll fetch Dr. Eagles from the chapel. Yeah. Tell Lamar to come on when he's finished playing his music. We have six. Excuse me, gentlemen, you officers and gentlemen. Y'all brought her this far and that. And now, please, go on now and let us take care of her. Thank you. She's in charge now. Yeah, that's right. West Virginia. Elk River. Right? For the smell. Dr. Lamar, let's take a look at her. Star-shaped contact entrance wound, a sternum, a muzzle stamp at the top. She'll have to go to the state pathologist at Claxton. Her ears are pierced three times, and there's a... It looks like town to me. Oh, man, her acting is phenomenal. There's dirt or grit under them. It looks like she's tried to claw her way through something. She's got something in her throat. Leaves and things in the mouth. What is that? Some kind of seed pod? That's a bug cocoon. But there's no way that could get way down in there like that. She'll be easier to print when we turn her over. I don't know what that is. Even though they said it. It's practically mush. The body was in the Elk River in West Virginia. You mean this is like a clue from a real murder case? Ceratomia, maybe. Let's check morphology. I do hate bugs. What do you do when you're not detecting Agent Starling? Try to be a student, Dr. Pilcher. You ever go out for cheeseburgers and beer? Are you hitting on me, Doctor? Yes. Meet Mr. Acherontius Styx, better known to his friends as the Death's Head Moth. Only live in Asia. Asia? Now, somebody grew this guy, fed him honey and nightshade. Somebody loved him. Wow, there we go. This Buffalo Bill has a lab. is now believed to have been kidnapped by the serial killer known only as Buffalo Bill. Young Catherine Martin, as we've said, is the only daughter of U.S. Senator Ruth Martin. Senator Martin takes this dramatic personal plea. Catherine is very gentle and kind. You have the power. You are in charge. You have a wonderful chance to show the whole world that you can be merciful as well as strong. My daughter is Catherine. Anywhere she keeps repeating the name. She sees Catherine as a person and not just an object. It's harder to tear her up. Please. Did this movie is necessary for every psychologist, psychiatrist to watch. This is the number for the U.S. Attorney's Office. Will you let me do my job? Do you understand? If your profile helps us catch Buffalo Bill, the Senator promises you a transfer. You'd have reasonable access to books. 
One week of the year, you get to leave the hospital. Plum Island. You may walk on the beach for up to one hour. Buffalo Bill case file. Copy of the senator's offer. Catherine Martin dies, you get nothing. Plum Island Animal Disease Research Center. Sounds charming. I tell you things, you tell me things. About yourself. Poor little Catherine is waiting. Go, Doctor. What is your worst memory of childhood? The death of my father. That's what I thought. He was a town marshal and surprised two burglars coming out of the back of a drugstore. They shot him. My mother died when I was very young, so when he left me, I had nothing. I think it would be quite something to know you in private life. A large girl. Yes. Big through the hips. She had an object deliberately inserted into her throat. Was it a butterfly? A moth. The significance of the moth is change. Our belly wants to change, too. You're so close to the way you're gonna catch him. Do you realize that? After your father's murder, you were often... I went to live with my mother's cousin and her husband. Did he sodomize you? He was a very decent man. Billy is not a real transsexual, but he thinks he is. He tries to be. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy had applied for sex reassignment and been rejected. Our Billy wasn't born a criminal, Clarice. He was made one. Hates his own identity. He thinks that makes him a transsexual. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. Mister, my family will pay cash. Oh man, look at this guy. He lost it a long time ago. I won't press charges. I promise. Now he places the lotion in the basket. <laughs> I want to see my mommy. Put the fucking lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, man. That's a broken nail. You still think you're gonna walk on some beach and see the birdies? They scammed you, animal. Stand outside. There never was a deal with Senator Martin. Of course, I worked in a few conditions for my own benefit as well. Oh man, look how he's looking at that pan. Answer me, Hannibal. Oh, by God, you'll never leave this cell. Who is Buffalo Bill? His first name is Lewis, and I have a few conditions of my own. Clean him up and get him ready to go. Did he actually forget the pan inside the cell? Welcome to Memphis, Dr. Lecter. I'm Lieutenant Boyle. Now, we're gonna treat you as good as you treat us. You can sign right here, we'll have us a legal transfer. Oh. He's planning to escape. Senator Martin, Dr. Hannibal Lecter. I brought an affidavit guaranteeing your new rights. You want to read it before I sign. I won't waste your time or Catherine's time bargaining for petty privileges. I only pray they haven't doomed the poor girl. Let me help you now and I will trust you when it is all over. You have my word, Paul. Bell's real name is Louis Friend. I met him just once by my patient Benjamin Raspell. They were lovers, you see. Apparently, Louis had murdered a transient, done things with the skin. Tell me, Senator, did you nurse Catherine yourself? I did. Toughened your nipples, didn't it? When your little girl is on the slab, where will it tickle you? Take this thing back to Baltimore. Five for ten, strongly built, about 180 pounds. Hair blonde, eyes pale blue. That's all I can remember, ma'am. Wow, he told them. Love your suit. Did you see the way he delivered that line? But he was looking at her face. Are you with Dr. Chilton's group? It's on that side, sir. Access to Lecter is strictly limited. We've been getting death threats. Log in, check your weapon. Well, I can't take all the credit for myself. Excuse me, folks, I'm gonna have to catch a flight. Mendez, Jacobs. Is it true what they're saying? Some kind of vampire? They don't have a name for it yet. Good evening, Clarice. I thought you might like your drawings back, Doctor. How very thoughtful. Or did Jack Crawford send you for one last wheedle? No, I came because I wanted to. People will say we're in love. Anthrax Island. That was an especially nice touch, Clarice. Pity about poor Catherine, though. Tick -tock, tick -tock. You were telling me the truth back in Baltimore, sir. Everything you need to find him is right there in those pages. 
Read Marcus Aurelius of each particular thing. Ask, what is its nature? It kills women. No, that is incidental. Sexual frustration. Right. No, he covets. We begin by coveting what we see every day. And don't your eyes seek out the things you want? It is your turn to tell me, Clarice. Why did you leave that ranch? Later, now please listen to me. We've only got five. I will listen now. And one morning I just ran away. What set you off? I heard a strange noise. What was it? Some kind of screaming, like a child's voice. What did you see, Clarice? What did you see? Lamb. They were screaming. They were slaughtering the spring lambs? I took one lamb and I ran away as fast as I could. I thought if I could save just one, but I didn't get more than a few miles. I never saw the ranch again. You still wake up sometimes, don't you? And hear the screaming of the lambs? Yes. And you think if you save poor Catherine, you won't wake up in the dark ever again? I don't know. Thank you, Clary. Man, the way he gets satisfaction from these private stories is that... Dr. Chilton, I presume. I think you know each other. Sorry, ma'am, I've got orders. I'd put you on a plane. You will let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you? Your case file. Bye, Clary. I'm wondering if he actually likes her or he's pretending. That's the that's the question I have. Good evening, gentlemen. Same drill as before, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. There we go. There we go. Yeah, One small mistake and mind the drawings, please. Wow! Oh my God. He ate his face. Oh my God! Holy cow! Ready when you are, Sergeant Pembry. What is this shit? Did somebody go up on five? Shots fired on five. Sergeant Tate! Brady, Howard, cover the- Look! It stopped. We're going up. Oh my god, man. Clear. Command post. Lecter's gone, Sarge. Prisoner's missing. Where the fuck is my ambulance? Sergeant Tate, he's alive. It's Jim Pembry now. Talk to him, damn it. Pembry, can you hear me? Pembry got off one round. There's a chance Lecter was hit. You look real good there. Is this Lecter? Was this. Looking good, Pembry. You're gonna make it. That's right. Stay with me here. Stay with me here. The way he fooled them all. He seems to be hanging on. Top three floor secured. We think he's on two. What is going on? Uh, we're pretty sure he's somewhere on two, sir. He's on the roof of the elevator. Okay, guys. That's why the elevator went up and then down. He switched the clothes. There's a gun by his hand. He's not moving. Put your hands on your head. No movement. We're opening the hatch. We're inbound with a 50-year-old male. Uh, the vital signs are good. Uh, and the uh, patient is on 10 liters of oxygen. Crew is dead. He killed a tourist, too. Fed his clothes, cash. He won't come after me. I can't explain it. He, he, he would consider that rude. It's over. He's here, Ardelia. Is this Lecter's handwriting? Doesn't this random scattering of sight seem desperately random? Like there's some pattern here. 
random because of the one girl. Frederica Bimmel. Right. First girl taken. Well, she didn't drift. He weighted her down. He covets. How do we first start to covet? We covet what we see. Hot damn, Clarice. You know her. I sure appreciate you letting me take a look around, Mr. Bimmel. Police been back here so many times already. She left the interview okay. She never come home. Yeah, first girl, right? Her bedroom's how she left it. Door to the left. Wait, that last girl had a cat too. So Bill kills who look like this girl, this first girl. He's making himself a woman's suit. He's a tailor so he can starve them a while. So he we know who he is. Calumet City, edge of Chicago. Johns Hopkins came up with some names. Subject's name is Jamie Gum. They stopped a carton two years ago at LAX. The addressee was a Jame Gum. I need you to link him to the Bimmel girl before he's indicted. Starling, we wouldn't have found him without you. Thank you very much. I got a better idea. Precious! Come on, girl! I got a yummy, yummy snack for you. Are you up there, you little shit? Please come, come on! What she's trying to do? This guy freaks me out, man. That's clever, man. She's very smart. Hey, don't you hurt my dog! Don't you make me hurt your dog! Oh my god. Lippman's family. Uh, I really need to speak with you. There we go, man. She found him. What's the problem, officer? There's no one here, Jack. Clarice. Oh, uh, Jack Gordon. Mr. Gordon. Was she a great big fat person? Yeah, she was a big girl, sir. I miss. No, I, I read about her in the newspaper. Do you want to come in while I look for her? Yeah. And she's alone. Are you close to catching somebody, you think? We may be. I bought this house uh, two years ago. Say, does the FBI learn something? The police around here don't seem to have the first clue. She must understand now. And she, yeah. Right. May I use your phone, please? Sure, you can use my phone. Freeze! Thumbs oh, up. no. Freeze!
My anxiety is on the roof. Oh my god! Is that the lady who lived there? Oh shit. That's bad. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my Wow! Wow! Here we go. That was so freaking fast. What a reaction, man. She didn't let the dog go. Compared, it's nothing. Bravo, man. Congratulations. Stevens. Special Agent Starling. Special Agent Man. Phone call. Did you take our picture? Hmm. I'm not much good at this kind of thing, so I'm gonna duck out of here. Okay, sure. Uh, thank you, Mr. Crawford. Your father would have been proud today. Don't forget your phone call. Wow, Clarice. Have the lamb stopped <laughs> screaming? <laughs> With the trace. I won't be on long enough. I have no plans to call on you, Clary. The world's more interesting with you in it. I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. Dr. Light. Dr. Light. Have you ever had anything more psychotic than this? Of course. His old nemesis. chills i'm scared i'm so curious um i gotta say this movie is a masterpiece 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 of psychological terror you know like that you can experience bone chilling performance bone chilling performance from both actors like anthony hopkins and foster wow, wow man what a duo dude I, I i know guys that most of the time i was not talking because i was literally speechless I did not want to miss anything, any single detail. This movie has to be watched by any psychologist or psychiatrist out there. Like, you, you can learn so much from this. Hannibal's facial expressions and his eyes. His eyes were so cold, but so intelligent at the same time. And the fact that he had morals and uh, based on what he said to Clarice, the last time, last conversation they had, like, what is a better place with you in it, you know what I mean? That that means is that I'm not gonna chase you down, I'm not gonna hurt you because I like you. Maybe he had some sympathy or he had some feelings towards her, you know what I mean? And uh, I believe he did, I believe he did. That's why he didn't came after her. But this was disgusting in the sense that this type of people actually walked this planet and actually did in the past also. Uh, so much depth into this movie and so much psychology. I'm not an expert in this field, I'm, I'm sure not. But at the same time, it's so interesting. This build is so interesting. I don't even know what to say anymore, you know? Like, it's hard. It's hard to compose now. This was a very challenging movie, I gotta say. One of the most challenging movies that I've seen on this channel so far. My questions are, what was your reaction when you first saw the movie? And what else can you tell me? You know, what else? What additional information? Maybe I missed something in the movie. Maybe I didn't pay enough attention, even though I tried my, my best. I tried my best not to miss any moment in this, and I believe I didn't. But if I have, if I had, please let me know in the comments down below. In these sorts of movies, there is always some details, always some details, some scenes that make sense and that uh, gives you some hints, you know, how the movie develops and how the movie progresses. And uh, I want to know, I, I'm, I'm sure it's not enough to watch this movie, the movie just once. And uh, and when I will be ready again, I will definitely rewatch the movie because it's so freaking interesting. The characters are certainly the most interesting. <sighs> Take care now, guys, and see you next time. Goodbye.